Man is accused of threatening to kill Georgia Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene. Greene's team says he made a violent call to her office, and tonight he's behind bars. Atlanta News First, Carly Barnett in Rome tonight. There she is, one of the areas where Greene represents. Carly, you've got some details on this bizarre case. Now, we spoke to several people here in downtown Rome tonight, both on and off camera, and the general consensus was, regardless of your opinion, this is certainly not the way to handle it. Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene's office was closed Thursday after serious threats were made on her office line. Investigators identified the caller as Sean Cirillo and arrested him. In the recording of the call obtained by Atlanta News First, the suspect said, quote, I got a beat on her like a sniper rifle, a sniper rifle. I'm going to kill her next week. I'm going to murder her. I'm going to shoot her in the expletive head and kill her. He then goes on to threaten her staff and their families. Any sort of threats, any sort of violence acted upon them for any sort of political beliefs, whether social or political, I think it's entirely inappropriate. Nathan Miller identifies as a conservative voter and says to let your vote be your voice. Going to the polls, rallying, uh, if you have an issue, mm -hmm. Handle it correctly. Representative Taylor Green issued a statement saying in part, quote, threats to murder elected officials should never be tolerated. It doesn't matter your political affiliation. No one should threaten your life for doing the job you were sent by the people to do. She goes on to say threats of violence must be taken seriously. And that's exactly why I take my Second Amendment rights seriously, end quote. Back in August, a New York man was sentenced to three months in prison, accused of making threats to Marjorie Taylor Greene's D.C. office. In Rome, Carly Barnett, Atlanta News First. Today's developments come after Georgia Republican Congressman Rich McCormick announced he's closing his Forsyth County office altogether. The congressman cited what he called serious threats of violence to his staff. McCormick did not elaborate on those threats.